Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, we are going to talk about service oriented architecture. So as part of this enterprise architecture pattern series, what we have been doing, we have been seeing about each enterprise architecture patterns. In the last video, we talked about the layered architecture pattern, right? So in this video, we are going to talk about the service oriented architecture. So what exactly the service oriented architecture pattern means and how it will look like and in simple words, how you can understand this service oriented architecture pattern. Everything we are going to see in this video. So if you are owning a house, what are all the services you may need? You may need electrical services or electrician help, and you may need plumbing services. You may need lawn mowing services, right? So th these are all the services as a house owner you may need, right? So suppose if you want a plumbing service, what exactly you will do? You first go to any website where you can see all the plumbers available in your location. Or if you want an electrician for some works to be done in your home, you must uh, go to the site where the electricians are registered and go and look for those uh, electricians and pick that person and bring it to your um, home and uh, implement the electrical works, right? And also, if you want some kind of lawn mowing service, what you will do? You go and search who are all the lawn mowers available in your location and then uh, talk to them. And if the rate is okay, you bring that lawn mower to your home and ask them to mow the lawns for you, right? So this is how you avail the service and use that service in your home, right? Similarly, when it comes to enterprise, what happens? There are many applications in enterprise, right? So enterprise means like it's a big organization wherein you can have multiple projects and you may have multiple um, features for that applications, right? For example, in your enterprise, if you have uh, 10 different applications, all these 10 different applications definitely need the authentication service, right? Similarly, all these 10 different applications need AE or ML service. And uh, these 10 different applications in your organization may need DB call service, right? So these are all the services required for any applications to run fine in your organization. So for this, what you will do, as you saw in our uh, analogy, where you were uh, going and uh, registering in a site and finding out the service providers and bringing the service providers to your home to implement the service. Similarly, the enterprises will have the service providers, okay? And uh, I want to showcase this in a simple architecture diagram so that you can understand the service-oriented architecture pattern in simple ways, okay? Let me share my screen. So hope you can see my screen. This is the service-oriented architecture pattern. How it looks like, if you look at the top uh, component, it says service producers, right? In your organization, there are some development um, uh, teams. Those development teams are developing the services required for the applications to be consumed. Okay. As I said in the uh, previous example of uh, acquiring the service for your housework, there are multiple service providers. Similarly, in an organization, in the development team may develop the specific services which are commonly used across all the applications. So, for example, the user registration service. In, in an organization, the 10 different applications we may have or definitely will have the user registration component. So, if you want to uh, implement this user registration uh, component in your application, you don't need to develop the user registration component for every 10 applications, right? Every applications. So, instead of doing that, the service provider organization will develop a, the user registration service and that can be reused in all different 10 applications and similarly authentication service is needed for all your 10 different applications so that would be provided by a service team that uh, self develop this authentication service and register it and keep it ready for you to consume and similarly a and ml service and payment gateway service so these are all the services that hi i highlighted um, for explaining this uh, service oriented architecture pattern but if you go to any enterprise, the hundreds of services similar to this will be available for you as an application team to consume and use it. Okay. 
so this top layer talks about what are all the services available in your organization and who would be the service providers in this top layer and if you come to the um, middle layer this is service integration so before consuming the service by the service consumers that is your application development team who wants to implement a particular service in the application those are all called service consumers and in the service consumers for example uh, an application for an lob that needs user registration module is going to call this uh, inter- integration uh, layer and then pull this user registration service and implement in their application module so in this case the application development team who are consumers here is not required to develop this user registration module because the user registration service is readily available to consume and use it and similarly um in your application if you want to have this authentication implementation all you need to do is just uh, uh, talk to this integration layer and then pull the authentication service and implement in your module similarly aml or payment gateway services and when it comes to pulling a service provider for your uh, home for example if you want to have this lawn mowing service in your uh, uh, home what you do you cannot directly go and talk to the service uh, provider because service providers you may not know you may need to go to some website and search for that particular service uh, provider is available in your local location and then um, call that service provider and then create a contact right similarly in an organization when you implement the service oriented architecture pattern all you need to do is just to register your uh, services once after developed into service registry okay and the consumer will go and look for the available services in the service registry and once the service is available in the service registry the consumers will create a service contract with the service provider so this is similar to setting up the price time for implementing the service for your home similar to that um, as a service consumer what you will do once after identifying the service available in the service registry you go and create the contract to use this service in your application so this is how service oriented architecture pattern works and in, in case of this service integration you can assume this as a kind of a integration service bus or um, enterprise service bus wherein you don't need to worry about where to go and talk to which particular service you just have an endpoint configured in the esb and then it can be leveraged to use all the services provided by the service providers so this is how uh, the service oriented architecture pattern looks like and this service uh, oriented architecture pattern can be implemented in your on premises or private cloud or public cloud anywhere so if you are um, if you are maintaining a private cloud and you can have the service providers available in your private cloud and uh, you can have your consumers in private cloud or public cloud and consume it but there are some limitations in service oriented architecture when it when you compare this um, service oriented architecture with microservice architecture there are definitely some limitation that's why we got this microservice architecture patterns we will see about uh, how this service oriented architecture pattern is helpful for an organization most of the cases why people are moving towards microservice architecture pattern in the next video hope you might have got some idea about uh, what exactly the service oriented architecture pattern is which is coming under the category of enterprise ar- architecture pattern and uh, how it is being used with simple analogy and if you like this video give a thumbs up and share it to your friends so that they will also get benefit out of it take care bye